Good morning, Nick McClure here, 1650 Camp Winnipeg Road in Morgan, Vermont on beautiful Lake Seymour. Sun's just peeking through. We've got a double lot here. This is the lakefront lot. There's also a lot across the road. Beautifully landscaped. The craftsman slash cottage style. Beautiful granite steps leading down to the fire pit. A lot of edibles here in the gardens from blueberries. Uh, there's fruit trees up above. Um, let's see. We've got the fire pit. This property is sold furnished, so these Adirondack chairs are included. Got some grape vines on the side of the house. Not the most beautiful morning, but uh, still, still pretty out here. The house sits very close to the water, which is great. You could not replicate that today with the Shoreland Protection Act. Very nicely landscaped. More granite steps leading to the water. This dock is included. Seymour Lake is uh, over 1,700 acres. Very clear water. A little bit of a beachy area here. Um, mainly kind of a sandy, gravelly bottom. Not mucky. It's very nice. Off the end of the dock here, I would say you're probably in oh, three to four feet of water. Um, so obviously easy to bring a boat all the way in. We're not seeing the full lake here. If you look down the shoreline, uh, we'd be looking towards Wolf's Point, and there's a, another leg of the lake that would bend off to our left. Um, way down at the end of the lake, we're looking back towards the public beach. Um, we're on Camp Winnipeg Road, which is a dead end road, so there's no through traffic, uh, no main you know, paved road that comes through. So it tends to be quite quiet out here. have a really nice outdoor deck. Little shed here. All right, walking onto the porch here at 1650 Camp Winnipeg Road, represented by Century 21 Farm and Forest. Beautiful little back porch. Come on inside. Interior is simply meticulous. You've got uh, southern yellow pine floors, tongue and groove walls, Pella windows, a real wood-burning fireplace. The house is sold furnished, so mo most of what you're seeing would be included. Beautiful kitchen, stainless appliances. You've got a capital six burner range uh, with open flame, so a lot more BTU than a conventional residential range. Does have a hood, tile backsplash, nice butcher block here in the middle, and a nice little bank of appliances with some built-ins, stone counters, another built-in here, and there is no shortage of views. Beautiful cherry dining table and a buffet. Open pass through back to the kitchen, so great for entertaining. You can still converse with your guests. Around the corner here we have <clears throat> the guest bedroom. Beautiful wood doors, uh, old hardware. So cute bedroom here, nice and cozy.
There's a closet. It's fairly deep. There is a beautiful deck off the side here. Access to the water. Copper railings. Beautiful little bathroom here. Marble tile floors. A great tile shower. With some built-ins. And then we can go upstairs. Upstairs is currently set up as the primary bedroom. It's got this great character with the roof lines and the shed dormers. And of course the sound of the water from the bed makes it a pleasure to sleep. Walk out lower level. All right, down here we've got limestone floors, great natural light. We've got these carriage style doors that open right up to the lake. Pretty hard to beat the view. So the current owners are utilizing this space kind of as a den. Really cozy, great views, beautiful built-ins, nice lighting. Uh, but this area has historically been used as a, as a primary suite. So there is a bathroom right off from it, which is gorgeous. And check out this shower. Got a place to put your foot while you're shaving, a rainfall head, the glass tiles to let some natural light in. And last but not least, we have a storage area slash utility area slash oversized pantry, which is amazing. Lots of storage in here, a lot of custom shelving and racks, some more appliances. We've got the pressure tank, the on-demand hot water heater, washer dryer with an additional sink. We have the high efficiency propane hot air furnace. So this, this is a year round home. Uh, commercial grade, true freezer and refrigerator. And we have a closet here. And another closet here. Really deep drawer that goes under the stairs, so great storage, really wise idea. I think that completes the interior of our tour. Hope you've enjoyed. All right, welcome back. So we're up on the upper lot here, uh, newer three bay garage, which is 48 by 28, so a large building. Uh, you've got beautiful raspberries, a bunch of fruit trees down in front. We're looking, the roof we're seeing down here is, is the cottage, uh, house I should say. Uh, gorgeous raised bed garden, simply amazing. Take a quick peek in here. So just beautifully done. We are mid-July as I'm taking this video and everything is looking amazing. Got more blueberries here. 
or on the other side as well. All right, so inside the building here, all two by six construction. Uh, you've got the panel box here, which looks like a 200 amp panel. Three auto open overhead doors, floor drain. And again, this is uh, 48 feet wide, 28 feet deep. So really nice size building, great for Boats, vehicles, all the water toys. And then you've got this additional space here, which has a lot of potential. It could be a workshop, um, you know, rec room. Um, anything of that nature could certainly be insulated and heated if you wanted to be able to use it year-round. Uh, nice place for a pool table or something of that nature. Alright, so I think that completes the outside.